I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find sine of an angle when cosine is given to us. If cos theta is 3 over 4, find possible values of sine theta. In this particular example, we will consider theta to be an angle between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Right? So that is what we are going to assume since it is not specified. Now let's look into the coordinate plane and what we know about cos theta being positive means we are looking into quadrant 1 where all are positive and quadrant 4. So we could get theta in two quadrants, quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4. Right? Some of you can use the cost rule which means that all are positive in quadrant 1, so all are positive in quadrant 1, sine is positive in quadrant 2, tan in 3, cosine in quadrant 4. So, so I mean quadrant 4. So for cos theta of 3 over 4, we know clearly that we are looking for two cases, right? So case 1 is quadrant 1 and case 2 is quadrant 4 when cos theta is positive. So we'll do two different cases to solve, right? So that is how we are going to do. Okay. Now when I say cos theta is 3 over 4, it means what? It really means that if I have a triangle, let's say this is the triangle, and if I am saying that cos theta is 3 over 4, then I mean to say that in a right triangle, if my angle is theta, cos is adjacent side, 4 is hypotenuse. That is what is cos theta equals to 3 over 4. Now you can find the opposite side by finding square root of 4 square minus 3 square, correct? Which is square root of 16 minus 9 or 16 minus 9 is 7 so you could write this as 7 square root correct so that is how you can find the third side now if you are talking about sine theta the sine is positive all are positive here but sine is negative so here sine value is negative is it okay so in case 1 where cos theta equals to positive 3 over 4 we have seen that sine theta will be equal to if we sketch this opposite side is square root 7 right 16 minus 9 square root which is square root 7 so sine theta is square root 7 over hypotenuse 4 correct However, if you're looking into quadrant 4, then sine has to be negative. So in this case, when cos theta equals to 3 over 4, sine theta is actually negative value, square root 7 over 4. So we get definitely two solutions. Well, let's treat this as our method 1. Method 1. Let me now discuss another method to do the same thing and that is by using Pythagorean trigonometric identity which is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1, correct? So rearranging this formula we can find what sine theta is. So from here we can write, we'll use this formula, so from here we can write sine square theta equals to 1 minus cos square theta or sine theta equals to square root of 1 minus cos square theta and whenever you do square root you have to take both positive and negative. Since we know cos theta we can substitute this value here so we get plus minus square root of 1 minus 3 over 4 whole square within square root. Correct. So let us solve this on the right side. So we get sine theta 
equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus 3 square over 4 square is 9 over 16. Is it okay? So which is plus minus square root of 16 minus 9 over 16, right? Which is plus minus. The numerator is square root of 7, right? And the denominator is square root of 16, which is 4. So we get plus minus square root 7 over 4. Exactly the same answer which we got earlier. I hope you appreciate that any of these two approaches can be adopted to find the value of sine when cosine is given. As a practice question, you can try this question. Let us say if I have cos theta equals to minus 3 over 4, in that case, find tan theta. In that case, find tan theta, right? So, so think over it and see how do you find tan theta. If I give you cos theta as negative 3 over 4, negative means you are working in quadrant 2 and 3. Think about it and answer this question. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.